Hi! So, I am Christine, and I wanted to do a little bit of an intro to where all of this came from. Um, welcome to Polar Transformations, and I would love to explain to you exactly where that title came from. Okay, so first, I'm a high school math teacher. Everybody hates math, right? But polar and transformations, both math terms, so gotta get that in there. But about five years ago, I started dealing with rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation problems, autoimmune stuff. Never been sick a day in my life. And then all of a sudden, this started. So I had gotten really bad for a while. And I was pretty much wheelchair bound. I couldn't get up the two or three steps into my house. My hands um, were almost unusable for at least half of the day. And I was working four full-time jobs, well, four jobs. Um, I'm a full-time teacher at the high school. I would work teaching at the college. I work three days at a learning center doing tutoring. And then I also did credit recovery at the high school after school. So I would keep myself very, very busy, and it became very, very hard. So then we went on lockdown. Now, my whole life kind of changed then. Well, I was home all the time. Um, no more four jobs going on. Of course, we went on spring break and then just never came back. So the rest of the year was online. So I was home, I did my hours online, but the rest of the time I was home. So what better thing to do than remodel my house? So started with my kitchen. So, so I don't have great pictures of all of these. I was not videotaping, I was not filming. Um, so I'm making the best of it. So here's a picture of the before of my kitchen. And of course, normal dark green countertops and um, the brown plastic sort of covered cabinets. And it was just so dark and dingy and awful. So then we turned it into this. So did all of the backsplash and painted the, ta the countertops and painted the cabinets and it's so much bright and nicer now. So then I started doing some furniture because I was home, I'm watching some YouTube videos. And so like and subscribe. Um, so I did these nightstands. So here's the before and here's the after. And my husband, of course, decided he wanted to keep them. So I told him, you know, I want to make some money here. So one of the reasons I want to make some money here is because, again, Polar Transformations, we are working on going to Antarctica. So December of 2025, that's where we're going. So I'm hoping to flip enough furniture to pay for our trip to Antarctica because that's going to be awesome. Okay, so the next thing I did was this dresser and nightstand um, set. So here's the before of that, and here's the after of that. And that was one of my first attempts at the countryest type of look. Ugh, I have so many mistakes with everything that I do, and I, but it's all a learning process, right? So I do something, and then I undo it, and then I redo it, and yeah, so they've taken me lots of time, but the biggest thing is, I have figured out something that I could do, because when we went on lockdown, I really liked not working for jobs, and this was something that I could do. So while through the process i'm doing much better right now i still like i can't close my hands um but i'm not nearly as bad did several things changed my entire diet um eliminated a lot of the inflammation so i'm functioning now and this is something i can do and i can't do things for a long period of time so i can do these little by little so I'm gonna do the bathroom remodel project, 
but I'm going to do it one thing at a time. So that'll be a seven part series total. And that'll be coming up here next. The next thing I did was, and the first thing that I actually sold, because the dresser and nightstand I sold second, but this desk, so it was this little white desk, like look like in a little girl's room with um, little crystal knobs. And I turned it into this, which I called Old World Glam. So that's when I first started naming my furniture. So I thought it had kind of that whole like old world look and left the crystal knobs on to make it like the glam look. So then I did this kitchen table. So somebody gave me this table. Here's a picture of the chairs that were completely chewed up by dogs. And I rebuilt them with Bondo. Um, we took all the tiles off of the top of the table. And this is what the chair looks like now. And this is what the table looks like now. And we filled in the entire top of it with epoxy, with um, glitter color in it. And it kind of looks like something from another planet. And it's awesome. Okay. And then I did this dresser. So it started out, I got this on the side of the road and it was just a falling apart and horrible, I guess. And I turned it into this. So we called this Barnwood dresser and, um, all of the painting. Oh, it took me so much to try and figure out what I was doing with all of that. But again, learning experience, and I'm having a blast trying to figure out how to do all of this. Here's another little one that I did. This was actually my first try with the transfers. These are from Dixie Bell, this one. Um, it was just a falling apart little desk dresser that we had, and um, redid it for my granddaughter just to keep her stuff in when she's here. You'll see some of these transfers again in the bathroom projects. That's my story. I used to work four jobs and then we went on lockdown and then I realized I don't want to work four jobs. And then I discovered flipping furniture and remodeling and I'm a math teacher and I need a creative outlet. So polar transformations, one, because I'm a math teacher and I teach upper level, so polar and transformations. And because I'm trying to transform my life from the struggle that I've had dealing with RA and inflammation and um, also because of our trip to Antarctica. So those are my three reasons for um, my channel, Polar Transformations. And I hope you'll go on this journey with me. Mm -hmm.